MKH3. Manual guide and description. Glue unit can be melton or melton. Hot melt glue. The basic machine contain the infid conveyor which called Kobe hole or pocket conveyor magazine to put the carton inside tunnel connection between the box and the product option top holder this is the tunnel connect from the product infill to the box on the other side this is the pusher to switch between product you have to disconnect the bullets of the pusher disconnect the bullets of the tunnel one and this is the other one change it and change the magazine panel control on the machine this is the hub for the glue and this is the glue gun and the nozzle is inside this is the nozzle which spray the glue on the box. The machine has six stations. First station is the pulling unit which pull down the box from the magazine to the first station. The second station is the feeding. In the feeding system, you have the first folding side flap. The third one is an empty station. The fourth one is the other side of the folding flaps. The fifth one is an empty station and the sixth station is the seal itself. Between the sixth and the fifth station there is the glue gun. The glue gun spray the glue on the carton. This is the sixth station which is the seal. It press the box and seal. Time of sealing around uh, less than a second. Outfit conveyor contain two side belt conveyor operate by two separate motor control on the same variable speed control or the same contactor. It, it, it depends on uh, the, the system which was organized. The 
electric box. Main electric box, main switch. The machine have three sizes to change. This is the box. The length is between one and two points after the flaps are closed. This is the side flap. This is the down flap. This is the up flap. This is the weed. The weed. And this is the high. So when we run the product, the box, on the machine, this is the length, this is the high, and this is the width. If we want to change the machine to a different size, we have three sizes to change. First size is the length between the closed flaps always between the closed flaps. To change the distance of the legs, we use this handle by moving the wheel on the clockwise we will increase the legs by moving the wheel anti-clockwise we will decrease the legs you have a tachometer so all the parameters after the first changing you made you keep them for the next time of setup for another size of box the second Changing is the high. Changing the high is done by changing the high of the gate. When you change the width of the machine, as we remember before, I can, this uh, base is moving left, right. Then, of course, the, the, the carton length is going to be changed. So you want to change also the position of the pads. So now if they are so close to each other, I can open this screw and just move it to the side. Sometimes when the carton is a little bit uh, small, very small, not so long, so I can leave this one out, don't close it, just leave it out and open screw out of the... Um, um, the, the movement of the side wall. So you leave it here and just give the bolt sometimes even just one we use. We should change by pick up the bridge. There are two. Up or down. It will be done by open the screw both four sizes and pick up or down so the guides, the upper guides will touch the box very smooth not too tight, not too loose it will be too loose then you will not get a nice square close it will be too tight then it will damage the carton. The next step to change the weed. To change the weed of the box, first step we open three screw both sides of the sprocket. This is the clutch. 
When we release the three screw, just to release, not too much, not to open it, just to release, both sides, left and right, then we make loose of the two inner chains. At this time, we go and change the width by, take this wheel. And moving left and right, and by this way, notice that the, this flying pin will be moved, so you will touch the box with a tolerance maximum plus point half up to po one millimeter more. Don't make them too tight. This is the way how to change the width of the box on the cartoning. Changing the magazine. The magazine is a changeable uh, for each size of box. The way is to open the two screw, one here and the others, and just remove the plate, the magazine, and put the new one. They are already fixed to the right position which was made in the factory. Next step is the tunnel. This is the tunnel. The tunnel have two screw, one here and one there. So what we do is open the door, release the two screw, one is here and one in the other side, take the tunnel out and change it with a new one. We have the pusher. The pusher depends on the width, size and the height. So this is the pusher. To change the pusher, you have two screws in the front. You take them out and you change to another size, which of course depends to the product and the carton size. Option. Next step is the top holder. The top holder is to hold the box or the product. Normally when you use a kind of a bag which can be uh, pushed inside and become like a mushroom. So what happens is this go down and hold from the top all the way through the tunnel through the cartooning. So this is the product. It goes down and hold it so it cannot move up and if it's a bag it will not make like a mushroom and stuck inside the box. The tunnel can be adjusted to the height, the correct height. Always be sure that the top will not be less or inside the pocket, otherwise you get a crash. So keep them always up. Now, if you have a higher product, you don't want to press them too much. In this case, what you should do, you can adjust the high. The adjusting high is done by open the, the screw, the ratchet here, so you can pick it up and down. Let me show you simply. Okay.
and close. Very important point. Always don't touch those guides which you have screw. You have the only way to change does those guys which they have the ratchet. Otherwise you are going to lose all the synchronization of the machine. Next step is changing the width of the product. If we want to change the width of the product to different size, it's a very simple way. We take the Allen 8 mm and we release the clutch. When we release it, then we can change different size. And of course, when you change to different size, the tunnel of course will be changed, so everything will be fit. Always keep when you fix it to the position, to the correct position, that the pocket, the wall, the cubby hole of the pocket conveyor will be a little bit wider or exactly the same as the tunnel. So you will keep them a little bit free, not too tight and easy going into the tunnel. You finish it just close and this is all the mechanical needs to be done for changing in the new carton. Now we're going into the parameters and the uh, electric operation. Panel control. The panel control contain emergency stop by pressing and then release it by half twist. Stop, green, start. Don't use the emergency ever if you don't need, because then the machine will go out of the synchronization and need to be home position again later. And it takes time. So start, stop. The interface. We have here a few screens. The first screen is the basic screen. We show you what's the speed of the machine running. And this takes around one minute to receive the correct speed. Program active. It means you can change any program or to programming the machine anytime to a new one. Manual operation, automat operation, machine stopped, it means signal what is the position of the machine. And then you have service, alarm, parameter, and program. So let's start with the service. I press on the service. I can see how many box up to date we run. If we want to reset it, I press reset. It will come zero. Details. Details show me how many hours, how many uh, partial counter. Count, counter the total and the speed. The hour and the counting is normally cannot be a reset. It's good when you make service, you can service the machine or after hours or after the counting. It means every 10,000 counting to clean, to uh, oil, to grease, or anything we need according to the manual book which show you and explain you exactly what to do. 
also uh, the hour counter. The difference between them is there are some machines which normally the speed is very low and they are much more time just turn on at on position and not working. So no need so uh, many services uh, and the service is a little bit uh, longer. So when you use the tot uh, you use the the hour is when the machine is really running on a high speed all the time and it's very important uh, 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 specific time to give the service for the machine. I will the service is in the manual book and it's very clear there. So if I want to go back, go back, this is the home. Again, service, home, service. So we put details, we, put, we say we reset. We have the language. So you can change the languages. And you can see also the monitor. Monitor show you the inputs and the output of the machine. If you see, there is a switch here, and I check now, this, you see, now the input 10, I play with it. So I can check what is the 10 in the manual book, and I operate it to be sure that this one is okay. Go back, and we have the uh, manual operation. In the manual operation you have the pulling which is to pull down the carton vacuum to start stop the vacuum to suck the box printer if you have feeder home normally when you use a, a servo system when you don't have the servo system you will get feeder, standard feeder, press feeder it will go in and jog to uh, slowly step by step the machine uh, for each step so um, and alarm of course show you all the alarms but we will come back to the alarm later on uh, pulling I will show you what happened when I say the put the pulling when I press the pulling wait a minute. see it's go up pulling If I put a vacuum, you hear the noise of the vacuum? Okay, very important. Carton in the magazine. Always put the carton in the magazine on the way which the ceiling of the box in this area will be like this. In the top. So be sure that when you put the boxes on the magazine, be sure that the ceiling area of the sleeve that you receive from the supplier will be down and on the top. So we will put now the boxes. So we will put the box boxes again. The ceiling area on the high and the top, and put it in the magazine. So now we can press on the vacuum, we can press on the pulling go up, and then you see pull down the box. Very important. 
when the boxes go down to this station, you will notice, wait a minute, let me show you, one here and on the other side, it's the same. When the boat goes down, it is very important that while the vacuum is still uh, operate, with the box almost straight and the carton standing like this, two, three millimeters from this uh, pin. The next step is to see that the carton going under the bridge, if you remember we talked about how to change the height, five millimeters, it means if you look here, it's also in the manual, very clear there. If you see the distance between the flying pin and the front of the upper guide, the bridge, should be around 5 mm. If we change the flying pin size between the wheel, we need to change also this one. So, to change this one, very important. Of the upper bridge, one, two, three and four, and you have a scale here. And you can just move it. So I open. And you see I can move it the scale. I have the dimension. I close it. It's called Z and Y. In this case, we keep in this case. We keep the distance of the around five millimeters. When we stop the vacuum, you will notice the carton will be jumped. And now it's touch this small teeny pin so now the box is hold and don't jump out of the station now we have the feeder if I press the feeder you see the servo or the pneumatic cylinder will push the product inside now we see the pusher you see the pusher so this is the pusher and when I press on the feeder it's going in, out. Then we have the jog. If you look on the jog, you can see that. So when you see the jog, and one like this, you will notice that the upper flaps is going into a very small tunnel and the down flaps will go under the tunnel so you will get the open lips of the two flaps for easy going product into the box when you notice or when you finish and you want to make the home positions automatically you don't need to do anything more you just press on the green button And the machine will find the position automatically and will bring the home position of the car tuning machine with no need any other thing to do. Next step, okay, we go back home. After the service, we go to the alarm. The alarm shows you all the machine problem. So the machine not at home position. So we will press on the 
reset or start button and it will be disappear automatically now it's coming back to the main screen again you see no alarm if I will operate the machine and press emergency I get a blink of the alarm it means there is a problem I press I see two alarm safety door is open and stop button pressed if I release the press and I reset it it will be released the door now is really open uh, and the safety uh, now is uh, crossed because I just want to uh, show you the machine with an open door so any uh, problem you get you will see it on the alarm parameters the parameters to go into the parameters you need a password and the password is one two three four enter then you will see all the parameters of the machine if you will look inside the manual book it will explain you very simple and logic what is each parameter important I will try to concentrate on two parameters which is number 13 move delay after feed this parameter normally use if you want to change the speed of the machine it means that the machine the motor will not change the speed but the sequence between each step will be changed it means you will get much more time on the pocket conveyor to fit the product uh, if it's a little bit complicated so if you want to make a long time of staying you just press here change let's say to two it's a, a two millisecond everything is two a second millisecond enter and then you receive it I will bring it back to zero now anything you do anything you change on this parameter screen it will be automatically save the other parameter which I try to say that it's important for me to uh, concentrate is the glue if you see you have glue one start glue one length glue two and let's start and glue two lengths what is the difference there is a possibility to receive the glue points or one uh, one point lengths all the way if you want to save some glue you can put points two points only now what we should do to understand is like this glue one start if we see the machine running if and this is the glue and the machine and the box is running wait a minute here I am and the box is running to the nozzle in this flow direction so this is the start from the time you run it this is parameter and you want to start to make the first glue this is the glue one start and from this point we start to measure the length of the glue how much length or how much glue you want to put here and then you leave the glue two both of them on zero if you want to make points just we have the start so this is the start make a very short length and then start and then make the other starting the glue to start 
and it should come from the beginning again. So we start to count at the time the machine starts to run for the glue one and for the glue two. It's explained in a graph inside the manual book. Please note. Uh, okay. So there are, let's go now home and let's go to the parameters. So, parameters, or oh, sorry, program. Program give you the option to change from each boxes without need to change all the other parameters like the glue. So, if we use this type of carton, which is a small one, let's say, okay? And now we need, we have another one, which is a, a wider, let's say, and we need to make a long uh, glue or whatever, all kind of changes which need, okay? We don't need to keep them in our mind or write it uh, somewhere. So we just b build another program. The same password, one, two, three, four, and then you can get up to 15, 30, up to 30 programs of uh, cartons. So now I can choose, let's say, program number two, which is another size. Now, what is interesting, you see, this is a, a mechanical setup. When a mechanical setup, it means that I can change the, the, all the mechanical uh, movement I will show you in a moment and all those numbers are showing here so if I go back I press now I change to another program okay now I see all the parameters to be changed, like if I see the D, D is set on 37, D is here, see D, and I write here 37, this is where it should stay for moving to another size. Again, this is E. Wait a minute. Okay, E, and you have another scale here, and you can notice to change. So, when you want to change to another size, normally no need to change them so often, but if you change them, at least you have here to write for yourself what uh, setup you make. So, as I say, wait a minute. So I choose, wait a minute, let's go back. So I choose program number two, and I move all the mechanical setup if need, and then I press load. When I press the load, and I go back home, you see now, program active now is number two. So I know now that I'm in program number two. I want to go back, program, password, one, two, three, four, enter, program number one, changing the mechanical setup, load it, go back home, now I see program number one. <clears throat> in manual operation, so this is the old screen that uh, necessary for running the, the machine. Manually, when it's manually, so each time I will press on the green button, I will get one step. If I'm going into the automate, 
I make a, I don't know, there are some machines that have a automatic feeding system. Automatic feeding system means that you have a conveyor, as you see here, and in the, on the conveyor you have a sensor. When the product will arrive here, it will touch the sensor and the machine will move one step. So there is a spatial parameter on the machine that if I don't use this way and I just put the product directly on the pocket conveyor, I can go into the uh, parameters, press one, two, three, four, enter, and going into, wait a minute, Manual infeed. See? Now, manual feeding, it means that it's number one. This machine is running for automatic feeding. So, if I want it not to use this conveyor and to use just the pocket conveyor, so I will put here one. And when I put it one, what you should get? the machine when I put automatic and I start again now the machine is running and you see we show you automatic mode the machine is in automatic mode Running, no carton, nothing. But if I take, okay, if I take a product, and I feed it here, now it will sense. Put the carton and feed it in. And then, you got it. That's all. Okay, I want to explain something about the operating of the main motor. The main motor is operate the main sprocket of the cartoner and the main sprocket with this chain of the conveyor so they are connected to each other to the same motor on the motor you have mechanical changing of the position of the pocket conveyor if need by open the clutch here behind if you go there you will see a clutch which connect to the sprocket which connect to the chain which connect to the uh, conveyor and then you can set so this is the sprocket which I told you to change the positioning of the conveyor the pocket conveyor of the cartoner so you open the screw all of them and then a little bit hit the sprocket so it will be released and then you can change the position. The zero position. Then you can see that the cobby hole or the pocket wall okay, is exactly the, uh, on the same uh, way as the tunnel itself. The other side you will see there are two sensors. One we call it home and one we call it slow. So what is the home? The home position, this is what we call it everything, home position, it means each time you make one turning it will stop on the home position. This is the fixed position of the machine. If you change, you open the screw down and you change this uh, position of the ring, then the home position will be changed, so don't touch it. So normally if you will see or think that the, the flying pin is coming a little bit to the front and you want to 
push them back. Okay? So it means that the, 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 the turning was a little bit much more than we need. So what we will do, we will take this ring and we will uh, change it to clockwise, a little bit move it to the right side. It means that the next time it will stop earlier. And if you see that the pin, the flying pin of the machine is a little bit back and you want them a little bit front, so what you do, you will take the ring of the home position and put it a little bit anti-clockwise, so to the left side a little bit, till you will find the correct position. This is very important. The second ring with the second uh, sensor is the slow. The system working uh, like a, a servo system, which means it's increased the speed to the maximum and then when it's come to the maximum, the ring touch the, the, the sensor of the slow and the machine goes slowly down till it will be zero. So it will move very soft. I will run the machine now and you will notice what happened there. If you see now, when it's run, it's always staying on the home position. But this ring, the first one which is on the slow, this one is give you the signal when to start to slow down the speed so the machine will arrive to the home position very accurately. If I will change the home position, you will notice that the speed is changing quite uh, uh, aggressive, which means you see high speed and then you down to low speed. So, and then you lose, of course, the speed of the machine. So we make it as much close to the home, so we do not feel the moving down of the speed. And really, now, if you will move the ring, more close to the slow, what will be is that the machine will not have enough time to slow down the speed and the home position will be missed. It will be over. And then you will get always an error or a fault which say to you, machine not in home position. In this case, just move the slow a little bit forward.